И смем. Do I have any favorite characters besides Krona? Ah, uh, I love Maka. I love her because of I love the relationship that she and Krona have together. Um, I also um, I love Death the Kid because <laughs> he's so neurotic, and I just I like. I like picturing Todd recording it in my head while I watch him <laughs> because it just makes me laugh. <laughs> so, yeah. It's true. Yeah, the whole concept of Soul Leader is so awesome with the weapons and the Meisters and everything. I love it. Who else? Yes, Say it again, I'm sorry. I have not. I have not read the manga. I, um, I, no, I'm not. <laughs> Partially because we didn't want, I didn't want to know what was going to happen, you know, um, especially with Al. You know, I, I needed to, I needed to be surprised up until the very everything, you know, and, um, and so, no, I, I haven't. I, uh, I have a lot of catching up to do now that we're done recording. Yes? I, I wanted to know, is it true that you report voice of Celia from I am the voice of Celia from Natalia. I sure am. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, that's a funny little show, isn't it? <laughs> By funny, I mean weird. Um, yeah, I, I love... Sealand is awesome, <laughs> uh, and I think it was really fun going in for that show because um, they needed so many different voices, you know. And I, for me personally, I I don't have a lot of um, dialects under my belt um, that I can just bust out, you know. Like Michael Tatum is a genius, and <laughs> he can do anything. <laughs> and like sitting back there, I wish you guys could have seen. Us last night backstage during that Ask Your Favorite Anime Character. Oh my god. First of all, Lisa is a genius. If you guys get to watch her do anything, go watch her because I was blown away. I mean, she gets her entire body into her voice acting. I mean, she's like getting up and moving around, and, and it was so much fun to sit back there and watch. Um, Watch everybody switch gears so quickly, depending on which character you were talking to. Um, but yeah, I I don't know. I think I think that I got really lucky with Sealand because he's great and he's not very controversial. <laughs> he's kind of safe, <laughs> unlike some of them. Who else? What's the strangest question you've been asked at a convention? The strangest question? Hmm. I don't know. I had a lady ask me to sign her breasts. <laughs> yeah, I was like, me? I don't know if you haven't noticed, but I'm actually not a boy. Did you do it? I'm a girl. I did. <laughs> Probably one of my weirder, weirder requests. Yeah. Have you had any weird con experiences so far? Yeah. Have some random person throwing themselves at you or something? I've been really lucky. I've been really lucky. I really haven't. Everybody's been really lovely. I think I, I would like to um, think that it's because I'm small. <laughs> and so people don't want to break me, you know? So I think um, I've been pretty fortunate. I, 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 I'm still so new to this, you know, that. <laughs> I think people are just being kind still, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> I heard a story though about when we were preparing me to come to my first con, and I was kind of getting the lowdown from everybody about what it was going to be like. Um, Mike told me a story about some girl, I don't know where they were, but Vic was there, and 
some girl jumped over a table and knocked him out of his chair. And I was like, uh, I'm afraid. I don't want anybody to knock me down. That's weird. But luckily he's a big guy and he can take it. But I was like, oh my gosh. So, no, luckily no one's tried to knock me over yet or anything like that. Please don't tackle me on the way out the room. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I did not. I mean, I, I'm trying to think, because I watched, do you guys remember that show, and you may not be old enough, I don't know, um, do you remember that show that was on Nickelodeon when, when oh, I'm just going to say we were kids, um, with the koala bears? Yes. Yes. Yes, that show, I watched that show, that's anime, isn't it? The, the style, the animation style is very similar, so I think, it's anime, I don't know. Um, um, but I, uh, besides that, I don't think I really understood the whole thing. So I feel like I'm just now, like this con, feeling less like I'm on the outside of some gigantic inside joke, where I s sit around a lot going, <laughs> I don't understand what you're talking about. So I, um, I think I'm kind of figuring it out, but I, uh, I definitely appreciate it now. You know, I mean, the animation itself is what really appeals to me. I, uh, I love it. There's some ridiculously beautiful animation out there. And if you guys, seriously, if you guys get a chance to see Summer Wars, wherever you live, go. It's so great. And the, the animation is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And the story is wonderful. And it is uh, it's really wonderful. So you guys, go, go check it out if you get a chance to. Yes, sir. My first role was Antonio in Romeo X Juliet. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Yeah. I love that show. Thank you. I love that show too. I really do. I have a special place in my heart for that show. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. I did. I did. Well, the, um, the way we do it is, uh, as far as like recording in the booth, is we're by ourselves. Um, we go in alone and we record a lot of times, well with Full Metal especially, I am generally the first person to record on each contract. So I act by myself uh, against nobody. I mean, they, um, there's nobody else recorded yet, so I just uh, do my own thing. and. Um, and that's kind of one of the weirder, harder things about what we do is that you're acting against, I mean, you have the image, you've got the other character and you see what their lines are, but you don't get to hear them. You don't get to like react off of any of that. It's kind of all you. And um, so I, I knew that Kent worked at Funimation, but I hadn't seen him yet. And I came in one morning to record and I'm standing at the front desk and I'm signing in and behind me I hear, Oh my God. And I turn around and he goes, are you Maxie Whitehead? I said, I am. And he goes, I'm Kent Williams. And I said, hi. And he goes, I taught you when you were eight. And I went, I'm not eight anymore. And he goes, I know. I said, I'm 29. And he went, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Kent is amazing. He's an amazing human. I actually got to work on stage with him this year. We did a production of The Sequel um, last year this time. And um, it was wonderful getting to work with him. So yeah, it's, it's come full circle. But yeah, he was one of my very, very first acting teachers as a kid. And uh, he's, he's awesome. He's an amazing guy. If you guys ever get to see any of his puppet work, He's a genius. Total genius. Yes. Yes. We get paid by the hour. We get paid by how much time we spend in the booth. So they will, uh, the studio will look at um, our line count, uh, how many lines we have for a contract. And then they will say, you know, based on us, and based on, you know, the kind of character we're playing. You know, since Al doesn't have a mouth, and I didn't have any flaps to match, um, we could record a lot quicker, a lot more quickly than 
um, if I were having too much flaps. Um, so, you know, he would look, Mike would look at the, at the list and say, okay, well, you know, we've got, we've got a hundred lines we have to do, that'll probably take four hours. And, um, and then they call you in for that amount of time. And either you finish or you don't, you know, if you don't, then they call you in for more time. But, um, that's kind of how it works. But yeah, we get paid, we get paid by the hour, so. Yeah. Yes? Did you enjoy that? I love not having mouth flaps. Oh man, did I love it. Those, oh man. <laughs> when we, I was recording Soul Leader and Full Metal at the same time, and so I was bouncing between Al and Krona. And I would go in, I felt so bad, because I would go in, I would have long periods of time where I would record only Al and not Krona. And then I would go into the booth to record Krona, and it would take me a good, like, 30 minutes to remember how to do my job, you know, to remember how to like match the flaps and see it all, because it's really like, for me, for me it's very, it's very difficult, I have a hard time with the flaps, it's not that it's impossible, it just takes me longer, because they, um, because it's hard, <laughs> because you're making your mouth match theirs, and, uh, and, so sometimes it gets really frustrating, and I'll start yelling about how I want them to match my mouth, and I'm That's tired right. of matching theirs. <laughs> I don't think they're working very hard. And so uh, um, it does take me longer to do flaps, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it, I think. It's taken two and a half years, three years, but it's cool. Um, but yeah, I would forget. I would forget how, and then I would rejoice when I would go back to Al. <laughs> Hooray, no flaps. I can just add. Hooray.